So with one point perspective, we're going to have groups of three lines. Always, always, always. We're going to have three verticals unless the form is in a certain place. We're going to have three horizontals and three sets of diagonals or converging lines, all going back to this vanishing point and only that vanishing point. So basically what we're looking at here is we're kind of just looking at random shapes within a space. Here's our horizon line. It's already set up. We have objects that are above our eye level. We have objects that are floating above our eye level. We have objects that are on the ground that are taller than our eye level. And then we have objects that are below our eye level. All right. Objects that are directly in front of us, as we see here, all right, this is where our eyes would be looking across at these forms. So if you've ever played Minecraft, this is kind of a very, very simplified Minecraft space where we're making boxes based on one angle that we're looking at the space. So when we have objects that are directly in front of us, we won't see a side. We won't see a left side or a right side because they're not to the left or to the right of our viewpoint. All right. So in this case, we need to look at this ground line here. It's close to us, and we're going to draw a line back in space to the vanishing point from the top corner that's going to create the top surface plane. It's going to go back a certain distance. I don't necessarily have to take it all the way to the vanishing point. All right, so you can see going there now at the vanishing point, I line up the top corner here and I draw the line back the same distance back as I did that one. Now to finish off the shape, right, I'm creating the horizontal surface plane. Here's the front vertical surface plane. This will be the top surface plane. So I'm going to line up my ruler or my straight edge so that it is parallel with the horizon. And then I will just draw a line to connect. That creates the back edge of that form. Now, we don't see three, three, and three on this because we don't see a left or a right side. We do see three horizontals but we only see two verticals and two, uh, two diagonals, or two converging lines. That's just because of where it is in space. Okay, now, objects that are taller than our eye level, objects we don't see the top. So I can't draw the top of this form. All I will see is, and I usually, like I said, I usually like to start with the ground line so I can make the decision about how far back in space the form is gonna go to that vanishing point, and then I have to do the same thing from the top of the form. I'm going to draw the line right down to the same point as where this is, and then to make a straight vertical line, the best thing to do is line up the top edge of my straight edge with the box, find my two points right here, and drop the vertical down, and that creates the accuracy of that form. So I see the front, and I see the right-hand side. All right? Objects that are above our eye level, as well as objects that are similarly close together, I need to make sure that the decisions I make based on the depth, right? I can't draw this line all the way down because it goes in front of this with overlap. So I'm just going to keep it as a short line, short line there, so it doesn't overlap the box on the ground. And now from here to the vanishing point, I need to stop the same distance horizontally as this line. Now from the top corner, look at the movement. Every line has to go to the vanishing point. I need to stop this one. Now I got a little bit of overlap. See how this one's overlapping this one? That means this one's going to be closer. I've made the decision to make this one appear as if it's closer visually. All right. So now I need to put my horizontal in. If I can't line it up against the horizon line, I can line it up against the edge of the form there and draw the line. And then same thing, line it up against the top of the rectangle box. I can find the end of my vertical. And it's oop, right there to the corner. So it's just barely overlapping this form. And now when I draw this one, 
I could make the decision on how far to go to the vanishing point on that. Same thing here. And I'm just going to do the rest of them, just making sure that every line that's not vertical or horizontal is going to the vanishing point. And I'm making decisions on the lengths as I go. Okay. 